All right, hello everyone. This is the second video on the bank integration. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over connecting your uh, cash activities uh, to a bank account. So, if you aren't familiar with this section, I'd recommend watching the video uh, that we talk about it. But basically, this is a way to record um, money that's going into and out of your bank account so that you can track how much money your business has. So um, you wouldn't want to connect like a credit card here because this isn't for tracking expenses. Um, you would want to connect like a checking account uh, because that's that's a real bank account. They send you bank statements every month with a beginning and ending balance. And uh, you know when money goes in and out of the checking account, that means money is coming into or leaving your business. All right, so it's pretty much the same process as the first uh, integration video. So uh, click the profile icon, top right corner, then go down to integrations, click on that. And then you're gonna click on cash name. Click that checkbox and it's gonna prompt you to put in an account name. So I'm gonna say uh, PNC checking and select cash account. Continue and let's search for PNC. All right, there we go. And I'm going to put in my uh, phony credentials here and sending credentials, authorizing with the servers. Great. So now I've got access to all these different accounts, and I'm going to select the checking account. And I'll click continue. It's connecting my account, success, excellent. So now continue, that brings us back to here. This dial is gonna spin a little bit before telling us that we're connected. All right, great, we're connected. So now there's an optional start date if we wanna uh, pull in historical activity, uh, which I do. And I'm gonna just, uh, let's see, I'll put it since May 1st, 2022. Okay, now if you, uh, don't want to do that and you accidentally put a date in just click clear date really easy um, and what this is going to do again is pull in transactions since this date from uh, the account that you connected okay so now i'm going to click add and give it a second Great, okay, so that's been added and all of these uh, cash activities have come in. Now by default, they get put to the unreconciled bank statement um, and everything goes under business activity. If you haven't watched the other video, go in and watch it now um, so that you can understand what these mean and, and why you would uh, wanna change them. Okay, so and if you remember in the expense integration video, uh, you have this same notification, but instead it says you have new cash activities to review. So click on that and it gives us the date, the amount, uh, charge description slash vendor, the type of activity, description, and bank statement. All right. So the type of activity, uh, business activity or other activity, this tells us, um, if the money coming into or going out of your account was business related or non-business related. So the reason we have this is because a lot of resellers use personal accounts for their business. And so if we want to track how much money the business has, we need to tell Genie um, this money was business related or this money was uh, not business related. So we assume everything's business by default, but if you need to change anything, just select it there. All right, uh, you can put in a description for what the transaction was and you can change the bank statement. I, I don't have any other bank statements in here, so I'm gonna actually click out of that window and add one just so you can see. Uh, so we'll say June checking and 500, date June 30th. All right, so let's go back in to review cash activities. All right, so we'll leave everything in this business 
uh, but I'm going to assign these to June checking. And I'll actually just assume these last three are unreconciled. Okay, so in order to uh, review them, I can either select by clicking on them. Um, you can unselect it by clicking again. Uh, so I can click on them and then click add. Or if I want to select all of them, I can click this button down here, select all. And it selects everything and, and I can add them all at once. All right, so no more notification because I've reviewed all of those um, activities. And that's, uh, that's how you import the historical activity. Now, moving forward, uh, throughout the day when new transactions come in, we'll be pulling in those new transactions and you'll get more notifications um, when you have transactions to review. So if you wanna do this um, through like every day, you can do that. If you wanna do it every week, you can do that. Or even every month, you could do that. Uh, we would probably recommend not going more than two weeks before updating your numbers. It's just staying on top of your numbers is really important for your business health. Um, and it'll make tax time uh, way less stressful for you. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, please reach out to us. We love hearing from you guys. We love... Uh, you know, knowing how we can better serve the reselling community. And uh, thanks so much for all your support. You know, we're excited to get this feature out to you and hope you enjoy. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.